an episode recap and then into the discussion. So, with that, sit back, relax, and let's get After 
shooting his way out of immediate danger, Joel is surprised by an attacker who nearly chokes him to death. No longer able to keep her gun a secret, Ellie shoots and neutralizes the attacker but doesn't kill him. When the attacker hands over his knife and pleads for his life, his name is Brian. He tells Ellie in a clear attempt to humanize himself, adding, We can trade with you. We can be friends. Ellie hesitates to finish him off, but Joel has been at this survival game for a while. He snatches Ellie's gun and tells her to hide behind a wall so she won't see how vicious he has to be with that knife. The moment forces more honesty to the surface. Joel, regretting the burden he assumes Ellie must feel for having shot someone for the first time, learns that she is not wide-eyed innocent as he believes. She has, in fact, hurt somebody before. As for himself, he must be honest that he obviously needs her and her willingness to pull a trigger more than he wanted to. Unfortunately for both of them, that guy Brian, his dying offer to take them to his mom was probably a pretty good indication that his mother was Kathleen. No way that doesn't come back to haunt them. By the end of the episode, as they climb 33 flights of stairs in a skyscraper to find some place safe to sleep, Joel and Ellie are exhibiting an increased level of trust that they can protect each other. So naturally, this is when they get awakened in the middle of the night by two new characters wielding guns. One who appears to be in his 20s, the other just a boy. They're likely Henry and Sam, given that the younger one wears a painted on superhero mask. This kind of existential threat was always there, even as Joel and Ellie were just rambling down mostly empty roads, cracking jokes. Even then, they couldn't stop to rest without wondering who or what might be lurking, ready to terminate their adventure. So now we'll get into the discussion thread. The survivors yelling in the background when they find a body was exactly like the game. P. 
PSA, everyone. Next episode is airing on Friday the 10th to not compete with the Super Bowl. That's good to know. I thought Brian was faking when he was pleading with Ellie, but those last screams for his mom right before Joel killed him sounded so real. This episode, more than any other so far, captured the feel of hanging with Joel and Ellie so perfectly. And Joel's development from seeing Ellie as cargo to giggling together It's all so well done. The opening scene with the pun book and Bill's adult magazine in the truck. The grin I had on my face seeing that play out. I like When they touched on how gas deteriorates over time, and that's why he has to siphon more often. Also, showing them setting up camp and sleeping, setting up sound traps, really adds to the immersion of the world. I like the fact that they say Joel has a loss of hearing from using guns all these years. About time a TV show addresses that. Lots of setup for the next episode and relationship development for Joel and Ellie. Did anyone peep that Joel forgot to get his backpack from the truck after they crashed? I like how they show that the years of harsh living have gotten to Joel and that he's 56 years old on top of that. He has to take breaks after moving around a lot. He's winded and exhausted for most of the episode after that shootout and struggle with the raider. He's lost some hearing in one of his ears due to 20 years of gunfire. Meanwhile, Ellie is seemingly an endless ball of energy. Also like that they didn't shy away from the fact that Joel was a raider or bandit previously, and 100% victimized innocent people at some point. He was a cold man who got stuff done for better or for worse. That's why so many people are afraid of him in Boston's QZ. They know what he was capable of. Joel falls asleep with his left ear up and wakes up with his right ear up. No wonder he couldn't hear the glass. 
amazing attention to detail. So that is all for today. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will see you next time. 